In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with circles in the coordinate plane. We will graph them and figure out the equations of them when they're already graphed for us. In example A, it says graph x squared plus y squared equals 9. So anytime you want to graph a circle, well first of all you should realize that this is a circle. Anytime you have an x squared and a y squared on the same side of the equation and equals a number, it's probably a circle. Then you want to figure out the center of the circle and the radius of the circle. Now the center of the circle in this case is going to be 0, 0, and that's because there's no numbers attached to the x or the y. If it wasn't centered at 0, 0, it would look something like x plus 1 squared or y minus 4 squared or something like that. But because we don't have any numbers here, the center is the origin, 0, 0. Now the radius we figure out by looking at this number at the end and take the square root of it. So the square root of 9 is 3, so the radius is 3. So to graph this, you should start by plotting the center, 0, 0, and then go out the radius, which is 3, in all directions. So really, you're going to do that four times, because that gives you enough points to be able to sketch in the circle relatively accurately. All right, in example B, it says find the equation of the circle below. So this is the reverse of what we just did. But we do need to know the center of the circle and the radius in order to be able to write its equation. So to find the center, you should just look for some diameters and figure out where they intersect. And that will give you the center. So here's our center point. It's the point negative 3, 3. Then you want to figure out the radius, and you can do that by counting the length of the radius on the grid. In this case, it is 6. Now once you have that piece, those pieces of information, you can write your equation. It's going to be x plus 3 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 36. Now where did all that come from? The center, negative 3 and 3, give you these numbers in the equation. And you always switch the signs. So the x coordinate was negative 3, so I wrote plus 3 here. And the y coordinate was positive 3, so I wrote negative 3 here. For the number at the end, which was 36, you take the radius and square it. So that's how you get 36. Now you have to remember that the general form is always like this x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So as long as you know h, k, and r, which are the center and the radius, you're good to go. In example c, it says determine if the following points are on, and then we have the equation of a circle here. So if a point is on a circle, it means that it will satisfy the equation of the circle, just like a point being on any line or curve. It's the same thing. So the way you can test that is take the point and substitute it in for x and y in the equation and see if it makes the equation true. So we're going to plug in 8 for x, so that's 8 plus 1 squared, plus, and then negative 3 for y, negative 3 minus 5 squared, and we're going to see if that equals out to 50. So we end up with 9 squared plus negative 8 squared. And we're seeing if that equals 50. 9 squared is 81. And negative 8 squared is 64. And that definitely does not equal 50. Therefore, this point A is not on the circle. Now let's try negative 2, negative 2. So we're going to do the same thing and plug in negative 2 for x, and in this case also negative 2 for y, because that's what the point is. And we're going to check, does that equal 50? Well, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, and negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. Negative 1 squared is 1, negative 7 squared is 49, so it looks like this point works because 1 plus 49 is 50. Therefore, this second point 
is on the circle because it works in the equation and makes the equation true.